OpenAI O1 and DeepSeek R1 models are the latest reasoning models and they provide such a high level of intelligence, but you actually have to know how to use these models. And so there have been many people who have tried many prompting techniques to try to get the most out of these models. And one of the techniques that I've discovered is using repo prompt. Uh, so the founder, Eric, is going to come back on the show this Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time to show us how to use these reasoning models with his app that he has. Uh, this app is runs on the Mac right now. He's going to try to make it available for everyone else. Uh, and what it does is be able to take your code and then feed it to the language model and get the most out of the prompt. And so people are explaining that they're using this app with those reasoning models to try to like solve some really complicated problems that Claude Sonnet and some of these other models are not able to solve. So there's been uh, amazing breakthroughs already with just the 46 days or 47 days that the O1 Pro model has been out. Uh, and then the new DeepSeek R1 is models out. So I just want to give you a sneak preview of kind of what this looks like and, and what our previous interview was, just so that you get a sense of um, how Eric uh, is and, and like kind of a sneak heads up of a lot of, and this is something what that to I expect. See, like a lot of people when they're working on, on like code iteration, they'll be like, they'll tell the AI like, hey, like output only the code. Um, don't output anything else and 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 that's it you know and and you know like you can do that and ai it may or may not follow that and it, maybe it'll work and the smarter the ai gets you know the better it'll be at following instructions but the problem with that is that when an ai is answering you it's fight if it's following that instruction it's fighting really hard against its like post training to like do that and you're you're going you're you're kind of allocating intelligence towards not doing that and that's like annoying for for, for your output because you're making it dumber um and you know like ai thrives under some structure but you don't want to have so much structure that it can't express itself so like the ai loves to say the word certainly because it's been trained so hard to say that and if you tell it you can't say that word then it's gonna it's gonna struggle it's gonna have an aneurysm um that's so let's say those words like, let it oh. let it say these things i call them like release valves uh for, for the ai when it's answering so just let it have these release valves of like let it like say what it needs to say and it'll be really happy to assist you and like let it just do its job and, and at the end like It'll, it'll tell you it's a little preamble what it did. Let it do that. That's fine. You know, like work around how the AI is made to work. And that's kind of a big, a big factor with how the app's built here. That is amazing insight. I mean, Eric is actually working on an app around prompting. And like, this is literally, I feel like just a masterclass just by itself on prompting. So, it, so that's a little bit of sneak peek of what's going to be coming to you this Friday. Make sure you tune in at 11 o'clock a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, 11, 10, 9, that's 9 a.m. Hawaiian time, uh, 11, 12, 1, 2. So that's uh, like, or <laughs> 2, 2 p.m. if you're in, on the East Coast uh, and everywhere else worldwide. So that's this Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You do not want to miss this episode because Eric is a, a really senior developer and he's working on this tool to try to get the most out of this model and people have been using it to get some amazing stuff out of it. So if you want to prompt with O1, uh, even if you don't have that model, you can use DeepSeek a reasoning model because DeepSeek reasoning has basically surpassed Claude Son at 3.5. So this is going to be a really amazing episode and we're going to tell you how to get this all hooked up. So make sure you do not miss this beat. I'll see you soon.